tagged in. I got me some troublemakers here, JT and Steve. Um, tell the world a little bit about yourself and what are you doing here at Urban Action? Okay, well, first of all, Vanessa, it's great to see you again. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. I'm uh, JT. I own JT Talent Enterprises. I'm a talent manager, casting to producer. My third year with the Urban Action Expo is one of their sponsors. And this is the first year two films that I've worked on are going to be showing. We have Robin which I cast, produced, and acted in with the brilliant director, amazing actress, Miguelina Oliveras, who's here today, you'll be interviewing her later. And I have Legends of Freestyle, about the freestyle artists, with one of my buddies, my good friend, who I work a lot with, Steve Stanulis, who's the director of Legends of Freestyle. And I worked on casting and producing on this project. We got Freedom Williams, Sal Abatella, Aaron Hansen, a lot of big people that are attached to it. And not to mention, he's going to explain a lot about it. Yeah. But I got to tell you, it's always a pleasure being here. I always have the best time. And Steve's going to tell you a little bit about Legends of Freestyle. Go for it, Steve. Steve, I'm, I'm definitely, this is what probably the most, I can't even talk because I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about this documentary. Steve, tell us about it and yourself. Sure. Um, when I decided to do this documentary, I, I mean, I've been a filmmaker a long time, but when I wanted to do a documentary, I figured I wanted to do something that I was interested in. And growing up in high school, I was a, into freestyle. That was my thing. So when I looked into it, I noticed nothing has ever been done on that whole, you know, that whole time period, which I was shocked. Um, I reached out to JT. He knew a guy, Sal Abatello, who kind of runs the whole gamut of freestyle. And he allowed me access to every freestyle artist. So we have, like, Lisa Lisa... Uh, CNC Music Factory, Lizette Melendez, Naomi, Coro, TKA. Um, I mean, it, I, every, if, if, if I didn't name somebody, they're in it. There's not one person from that wasn't a freestyle legend that's not in this film. So uh, we had a lot of press on it, a lot of traction, and we're excited to uh, premiere it here at the festival. That's amazing. I mean, freestyling was, even though I'm a little bit younger, but it was a part of my... Yeah, but it was a part of my childhood, too, you know, to, to have that type of um, artistry because it also is an art. Is this your first time dabbling in documentaries? It's my first time dabbling with any type of documentary. That's why it was so pa I was passionate about doing something that I really love. Because as much as I care about a lot of topics in the world, it's not something I could give my heart into unless I knew I had an interest myself in it and a passion about it. So, uh, so like I said, we brought it to life. And uh, I'm just super excited that uh, we were supposed to actually premiere in 2016. But we did a little bit of a rush to get here. And we were honored that they asked us to screen here. And, and here we are. Great. So since you said you dabbled in some freestyle, can I ask you to freestyle a little bit? Well, well again, that's, you know, it's funny you said that. Because when people don't know that, that whole thing of music, they think when we talk about freestyle, it's about freestyle rapping, which it's not. Freestyle music was a name given to all of those artists. But it, that's not an uncommon perception because you speak to a lot of kids that are not familiar with freestyle. They think I'm talking about rapping, which is not the case. It's more of da it's dance music. Yeah, okay. That's, that's the first thing I had in my mind. I could sing like a, a freestyle song for you if you'd like. I don't know if I could rap like, uh, you know, randomly. But no, no, but... But that's, that's usually the misconception with that. A lot of people think that's what it is, but it's not. I'm happy you clarified that. Vanessa, you remember Freedom Williams, CC Music Factory. He'll be here any minute. Oh, great. Amazing. He's going to be incredible. And uh, a third film that I've worked on here, but I've only did a little casting. You know Greg, Beyond Comics? Mm -hmm. So w his film is in here as well, which uh, we won an award last year. We're going to be screening it again this year. JT, you're such a superstar every year that you're here. I, he gets his hands in everything. You're like, everything you touch, what is it, King Midas? <laughs> everything he touches turns to gold. I swear, it does. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm a little upset because there's some outfits here that some of the dudes are wearing that I was going to wear tonight, and, I'm, <laughs> and we would have totally clashed. So I'm, I'm a little upset about that, but like, thank God I went with the suit. Like what? The leather vest some guys are wearing with the, with the biceps out. I was, I was going to totally try to pull that look. Uh, I'm glad I went with this suit. 
Well, you guys both look really sharp. JT, Steve, thank you so much. I won't keep you any longer. Go drink, have fun, and I'll see you guys inside. Okay? Let's get a picture. She's a freestyle. Check us out. Tomorrow night, AMC Theater, 6 p.m. And you have